Ground ball left side and throw, and Isaac Paredes comes through for Team Mexico. Mariaga's throw offline. Mexico on the board first as Paredes knocks in Manessas. The way to advance the runner. Yanks this one to left, and Colombia answers right away to tie the game. Back-to-back -back doubles from Alfaro and Diaz, the two catchers for Team Colombia, and it's locked in the top of the fifth. It's a towering drive down the left field line towards the foul pole. Rodriguez hits it off the pole and gone. The 36-year-old, the swing of his Colombian career. He has Colombia in front, three to one. Rosarena rips it to left, down the line, hooking deep, and gone! It's tied! Rosarena does it again on the big stage. Up the middle, deflects into right field. Rodriguez comes through again. El Faro to the plate. Colombia in front. It's 4-3 as Rodriguez. You look how he just stays up the middle and just outside the reach. Don't think they would have been able to get him anyways. It's yet another response in this game full of them. It's a fly ball the other way. And yep. Alex Verdugo to the corner. Settles under it. Makes the catch. Now far to third. And they do get the runner. Advance to third base. That's huge. And it's really a psychological thing. 2-2 two -two is floated to the left side. Freddie Hop! And Columbia gets a run across. That thing had all kinds of English right off of the bat, and Luis Arias couldn't get it cleanly. Campero puts it. Strike three called. Team Colombia takes game one. Beating Team Mexico in extra innings in just a wonderful way to begin the stateside portion of the WBC. What a game. And we knew this one was going to be a back and forth. A lot of pressure on Mexico. Colombia answered. Mexico kept answering, but Colombia with.